Welcome, you cultured individuals. Thank you for joining me here today. We have two main reasons for this video. Number one, got a new camera, testing it out. I don't know how the settings are, so we'll see how this video goes. And this is the kind of video I can do simply with the camera, so a good way to test it out, right? And uh, the second purpose of the video is for the purpose of the video itself, the topic. The topic at hand is Ruby and rooster teeth and this hiatus thing. This is a follow-up to the video I did yesterday. Link video in the description if you want to check it out if you haven't seen it yet. But I'm laughing already because this theory is so absurd that I don't know if I can say I believe it. Uh, but <laughs> that said, Rooster Teeth has done a lot of exceptional stuff over the years. So maybe this theory isn't as absurd as it might sound. Uh, so he here's the theory, okay? You ready? The theory is, what if Rooster Teeth took this abnormally long hiatus, because the hiatus we have now is what, uh, almost two months long? Usually in the past, their hiatus was about two weeks long for winter. So way longer than usual. What if the purpose of that was to try to get an extra month or two of first membership subscriptions? It sounds absurd, I know, but let's factor this in for a moment. Two months is actually a good chunk of time when you look at, you know, full year being 12 months. Well, 12, uh, two months out of 12, like I said, is a pretty decent chunk of time. So <laughs> Rooster Teeth for years has had this problem. If you've been following RT and Ruby, you know about this. This is one of the most well-known problems that they have with their business model. Because Ruby's so popular and their other shows aren't as popular for the most part, a lot of people will sign up for a first membership to watch Ruby, and when the season is done, they'll decide to no longer be a first member. So for a long time, years and years and years, to my understanding, Rooster Teeth has been trying to solve that issue. And uh, they haven't had that much luck with it, it seems. So what if, what if this abnormally long hiatus was, like I said, for the sole purpose of trying to get an extra month or two of first membership? And then maybe they can go to their uh, overlords and be like, hey guys, look, revenue is up this year on first memberships and it's not even for Ruby, you know? <laughs> okay, what if that's the play and then they try to ask for a bonus or something? I don't know. Again, kind of an absurd theory, but also at the same time, unfortunately, it's somewhat believable because of what we've seen Rooster Teeth do in the past. Adding this in post-production, sorry for the awkward cut. We'll get back to more examples in a moment, but I want to add this in because I think the truth might be somewhere in the middle. Maybe they really do have to take an extended hiatus due to working from home and getting used to it, but maybe they still thought, you know, we can extend the, the break a little longer and get an extra month or two of first memberships. Maybe that's it. Now here's the rest of the video. Same time, unfortunately, it's somewhat believable because of what we've seen Rooster Teeth do in the past, such as raising the price of first membership on people. In some cases, the price went up to my recollection around 300%. And to make it even worse, the people who had a price hike of that much were the same people, again, to my recollection, this was about a year and a half ago now, but were the same people that they had said, we're gonna give you a grandfathered price. Thank you guys, here's your grandfathered price. These people are happy they get a good price. <laughs> 300% JK. Enjoy that. Thanks for your support, though. It's just some funny stuff. Let me know what you guys think about. Well, let me let me say funny and sad. Okay. Uh, let me know what you guys think about all that. Thank you for tuning in. Catch you soon for the second.